see how long it lasts over here at this spot. It's all, it's all test. This is a test. We're testing today. Testicles. Yeah, right there from this angle, it hits it the hardest. For it to really out. work, Steve, we gotta like, we need the wheels. We'll see. Well, you can't see this one. I'm gonna put this like on my body. Right there. This is skateboarders solving skateboard problems. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're just out here experimenting. Let's see what Joey's got right here. I think it's too bright. I, th I don't. I kind of like it where the sidewalk is almost invisible. What do you think? What if we lose light? It's an art project. It's not like everyone's seen gnarly skating so much that it's like let's have some fun and, and we want try to do something to different. It. Yeah. The concept is using a 3M material, incorporating the 3M tape, whether it's like outlining ledges, whether it's creating patterns, you know, to bring out their their movement of their legs and their bodies as they're doing the trick. So we just kind of figured. Uh, this would be a fun creative process for us and you know, I think we, we can do something with it. We kind of picked the hardest thing we could have done because getting 3M stuff isn't very easy. Amazon took a while to ship out the tape so we were waiting like a good week I think before we got the tape in and we didn't even get the suits in until a few days after that so yeah we got a late start. Focus here. That looks cool though. After we did the initial test, we realized that the more we could get the board to pop with the tape, the sicker it would look. So we had the guys like shave out little strips of the tape, put it around the edge of their board, put tape on their wheels. Look how crazy is that. You have to see it shining at night, man. It's definitely a different experience getting to like skate in the dark, but see the reflection of the lights, and then you don't really see it until you see the camera view. and. When you're in the moment and you're doing it, your suit doesn't glow. Nothing's glowing when you're skating. It just looks like gray tape on the ledge, right? But then when you get in the computer, you make it glow. Our first stop was, was Jake one. Jake one at night is, is so mellow, so it's like we need places that we can skate that aren't a bust. If we were to commit time to taping it, only for someone to come out and say, yeah, get out of here, we just spent like maybe half of our tape fixing something up, and then we would have been asked out. It's like just so geometric that like adding tape to it really helped, you know, define that stuff. Everyone was there, everyone was vibing, a lot of tricks went down. Dude, I don't understand how he flips out of these things. The tail slide 270 heel flip out just blows my mind. I can't even imagine trying that. He's on one. He's on one. What's it like skating in that thing? Stupid hot. Fucking sweating too much. I would say the hardest part is definitely the suit. I mean, it's, you need to lose some weight, get this suit, man. I like literally was doing kickflips and like splashing myself with my sweat flying out of the sleeves and the pant leg. They should have called them the wetsuits. Surfers should use these. Shooting at the courthouse was interesting because in the day, it's such a visually identifiable spot that you've seen throughout the years. And to do our skate and create there at night, it's not instantly recognizable off the bat, like as you see it, which is pretty cool to try to take such an established spot and present it in a new way for someone to look at it. You no, know, it's a little bit hard because we're doing it at night, so it's like kind of dark to see the spots, you know, like we gotta like try make it work, you know, like try to feel the spot, not see the spot, you know, kind of like that. The tape was a, uh, it was kind of an issue for us because it's just hard to get. So when we'd get tape, we would go to a spot, we'd run out of tape, like, all right, well, here's what we got. Like, we actually skated the beach and we didn't have enough tape to tape our boards up. We only had enough for our wheels. I mean, I think everything came out great. I'm stoked we skated the curb because that's like one of my favorite curbs for sure. It just goes. It was super fun because there was like barely any people. 
JP got some clips, killed the ledges. It was fun. We saw his drive through the project. Wherever spot we're at, like, figuring out what he can do and, like, doing it. Every night we asked him to come out, he was there, you know? MVP all day, I would have to go to my boy, JP. He's the man, best dude, best attitude. Skated hard, does tricks easy. What else could you want? Nolly 180 nose grind, switch front heel in the dark. Yeah, that stood out for me. Seeing this through with everyone as a team and everyone being psyched and like, yes, this is working. This is rad, this is fun. Like this is what we envisioned and what we set out to do. So that has happened. And it's really cool to like experience that with, with your boys, you know? I'm super hyped to see everything come out. I've already seen some snippets and it looks dope. It's not just a skate trick, it's, it's a whole project. That's why this is dope. Thanks Transworld, Red Bull, appreciate it.